Kingston, Jamaica. Kingston is the capital and largest city of Jamaica, located on the southeastern coast of the island. It faces a natural harbor protected by the Palisados, a long sand spit which connects the town of Port Royal and the Norman Manley International Airport to the rest of the island. In the Americas, Kingston is the largest predominantly English speaking city south of the United States. The local government bodies of the parishes of Kingston and St. Andrew were amalgamated by the Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation Act of 1923 to form the Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation, KSAC. Greater Kingston, or the corporate area refers to those areas under the XAC, however, it does not solely refer to Kingston Parish, which only consists of the old downtown and Port Royal. Kingston Parish had a population of 96,052, and St. Andrew Parish had a population of 555,828 in 2001. Kingston is only bordered by St. Andrew to the east, west and north. The geographical border for the parish of Kingston encompasses the following communities, Tivoli Gardens, Denham Town, Ray Town, Kingston Gardens, National Heroes Park, Bournemouth Gardens, Norman Gardens, Renwick Lodge, Springfield, and Port Royal, along with portions of Rollington Town, Franklin Town, and Almond Town. The city proper is bounded by six miles to the west, Stony Hill to the north, Pepin to the northeast and Harborview to the east. Communities in urban and suburban St. Andrew. Communities in rural St. Andrew such as Gordontown, Mavis Bank, Lawrence Tavern, Mount Airy and Bull Bay would not be described as being in Kingston City. Two parts make up the central area of Kingston, the historic downtown, and New Kingston. Both are served by Norman Manley International Airport and also be the smaller and primarily domestic Tinson Pen Aerodrome. Kingston was founded in July 1692 as a place for survivors of the 1692 earthquake that destroyed Port Royal. Before the earthquake, Kingston's functions were a purely agricultural. The earthquake survivors set up a camp on the seafront. Approximately 2,000 people died due to mosquito-borne diseases. Initially, the people lived in a tented camp on Colonel Barry's hog crawl. The town did not begin to grow until after the further destruction of Port Royal by fire in 1703. Surveyor John Goff drew up a plan for the town based on a grid bounded by north, east, west, and harbor streets. The new grid system of the town was designed to facilitate commerce, particularly the system of main thoroughfares across which allowed transportation between the port and plantations farther inland. By 1716 it had become the largest town in the center of trade for Jamaica. The government sold land to people with the regulation that they purchased no more than the amount of the land that they owned in Port Royal and only land on the seafront. Gradually wealthy merchants began to move their residences from above their businesses to the farmlands north on the plains off Liguania. The first free school, Wilmers's, was founded in 1729 and there was a theater, first on Harbor Street and then moved in 1774 to North Parade. Both are still in existence. In 1755 the governor, Sir Charles Knowles, had decided to transfer the government offices from Spanish Town to Kingston. It was thought by some to be an unsuitable location for the assembly in proximity to the moral distractions of Kingston, and the next governor rescinded the act. However, by 1780 the population of Kingston was 11,000, and the merchants began lobbying for the administrative capital to be transferred from Spanish Town, which was by then eclipsed by the commercial activity in Kingston. By the end of the 18th century, the city contained more than 3,000 brick buildings. The harbor fostered trade, and played part in several naval wars of the 18th century. Kingston took over the functions of Spanish Town, the capital at the time. These functions included agriculture, commercial, processing and a main transport hub to and from Kingston and other sections of the island. The government passed an act to transfer the government offices to Kingston from Spanish Town, which occurred in 1872. It kept this status when the island was granted independence in 1962. In 1907, 800 people died in another earthquake known as the 1907 Kingston Earthquake, destroying nearly all the historical buildings south of Parade in the city. That was when a restriction of no more than was instituted on buildings in the city center. These three-story high buildings were built with reinforced concrete. Construction on King Street in the city was the first area to breach this building code. During the 1930s, island-wide riots led to the development of trade unions and political parties to represent workers. The city became home to the Mona campus of the University of the West Indies founded in 1948, with 24 medical students.
It's not until the 1960s did major change occur in the development of Kingston City Center. The international attention of reggae music at that time coincided with the expansion and development of the Kingston City Center waterfront area. These developments led to an influx of shops and offices, and the development of a new financial center, New Kingston, which replaced the Nutsford racetrack. Multi-story buildings and boulevards were placed within that section. In 1966 Kingston was the host city to the Commonwealth Games. The western section of the city was not the focus of development, and that area proved to be politically tense. The 1970s saw deteriorating economic conditions that led to recurrent violence and a decline in tourism which later affected the island. In the 1980 general elections, the Democratic Socialist People's National Party, plug and play, government was voted out, and subsequent governments have been more market-oriented. Within a global urban era, the 1990s saw that Kingston has made efforts to modernize and develop its city structure and functions. Various organizations such as the Kingston Restoration Company, the Urban Development Corporation, UDC, the Port Authority of Jamaica and the Port Royal Development Company, among others sought to develop the urban structure of the city. The majority of the population of Kingston is of African descent. Large minority ethnic groups include East Indians and Chinese who came to the country as indentured servants in the late 19th century. The Chinese occupy important roles in Jamaica's economy especially in the retail markets in downtown Kingston and the wider metropolitan area. There is also a minority of Europeans, mostly descending from immigrants from Germany and Great Britain. Syrians and Lebanese form one of the most influential ethnic groups in not only Kingston, but the entire island. Though a minority ethnic group, the Lebanese were able to give Jamaica one of its prime ministers, Edward Philip George Siaga. There is a strong undercurrent of bias based on skin color as darker-skinned Jamaicans are usually at the very bottom of the socio-economic ladder, a phenomenon evidenced by the disproportionate representation of foreigners and mixed-race individuals in lucrative private sector and government positions. Multiracial Jamaicans continue to form the second-largest racial group, and there is also a small Jewish population in the city. There is a wide variety of Christian churches in the city. Most are Protestant, a legacy of British colonization of the island. The chief denominations are Church of God, Baptist, Anglican, Methodist, Roman Catholic, Seventh day Adventist, and Pentecostal. There is a strong Roman Catholic community, with the Holy Trinity Cathedral, which is the seat of Metropolitan Archbishop and was consecrated in 1911, as well as a few Catholic schools and institutions such as the Immaculate Conception High School. St. Francis Primary, and Infant School, Holy Childhood High School which was founded and is owned by the Franciscan Missionary Sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, FMS, in Jamaica. Afro-Christian syncretic religions such as the Rastafari movement also have a significant following. The Sher Shalom Synagogue serves Kingston's Jewish population. The city also has communities of Buddhists and Muslims. The Islamic Council of Jamaica and the Islamic Education and Taoist Center are both located in Kingston. There are three units of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints in the city. Kingston plays a central role in Jamaica's economy. The vast majority of economic activity takes place within Kingston, and as most government ministries are located in the city, it is a key force in legislation in regards to Jamaica's finances. The high population density of the capital city means that the majority of monetary transactions occur in Kingston, stimulating much of Jamaica's local economy. The city is also home to the highest number of schools, hospitals and universities anywhere in Jamaica. Kingston is also the island's main transportation hub and its largest seaport. Many multinational conglomerates and financial institutions are headquartered in and around the Kingston metropolitan area. Air Jamaica was headquartered in Kingston. The idea of making Jamaica an international financial center has also been proposed as a way to boost the city's financial sector and create more jobs, especially for professionals such as accountants and lawyers. The city's major industries include tourism, apparel manufacturing, and shipping. Many international exports are traded through the city's seaport, with major exports including bauxite, sugar and coffee. The city is also a major tourist destination and tourism is one of its largest sources of economic activity. The city has suffered economic troubles recently, however, along with the rest of the country of Jamaica. Plans to help the city's economy have made downtown Kingston the subject of numerous redevelopment plans. There have also been attempts to grow the manufacturing industry in the area and to attract call centres to the city. 
Kingston is surrounded by the Blue Mountains, Red Hills, Long Mountain and the Kingston Harbor. The city is on the Liguania Plain, an alluvial plain alongside the Hope River. Kingston experiences frequent earthquakes, including the 1907 earthquake. Kingston has a tropical climate, specifically a tropical wet and dry climate, that borders on a hot semi-arid climate. BSH. Characterized by a wet season from May to November, which coincides with the hurricane season, and a dry season from December to April. During the dry season, there is not much rainfall, however, cold and stationary fronts occur at this time, and often bring heavy showers, especially in March. Kingston is in the rain shadow of the Blue Mountains, therefore, little to none of the moisture carried by the northeast trade winds falls over Kingston causing Kingston to be very dry in comparison to Portland and St. Mary on the windward side of the Blue Mountains. Kingston is on a coastal location, hence it comes under the influence of the sea, though dense urban development can negate this effect. In the 21st century, Kingston has experienced temperatures as high as and as low as. Between 1895 and 1990, the total average rainfall was recorded at, the highest monthly average rainfall recorded in October at, and the lowest monthly average rainfall recorded in March at. Fog, hail, thunder and tornadoes are all extremely rare. In 1848 the Jamaican government expanded Kingston by constructing new homes in the west, north and east of the city. This housing became highly segregated in terms of race and class and by 1860 the majority of white elites lived on the outskirts of the city. As Kingston's population grew, existing settlements became so densely occupied that marshes in the southwest were filled in to allow the development of new housing. By 1935, continued population growth and poverty resulted in the emergence of slums in the east and west of the city. Later, these areas were demolished by the government and residents were rehoused in Denham Town. This development accommodated 3,000 people, leaving more than one sixth of displaced resident homeless. Consequently, overcrowding persisted throughout the city and cramped living condition resulted in public health issues. Suburbanization also became significant and by the 1960s this residential area spread to the foothills of the Blue Mountains. Subsequently, the lack of space and continued consumerism meant this area then expanded to the east of the mountains. In Kingston, 20% of the population now live in squatter settlements. Contrastingly, Kingston is also home to the Goldilocks Zone, a suburb that holds some of the most expensive houses in all of Jamaica. The city of Kingston is home to a number of urban parks which are frequently transformed to accommodate various events and festivities on the Jamaican calendar. The most popular parks include, Emancipation Park, Hope Gardens, Devon House, National Heroes Park, St. William Grant Park, and Mandela Park. The Liguania Club, a recreational and social club for the upper class in society, Located on Nutsford Boulevard, owned over of land including the former Liguania Park now the site of Emancipation Park. The club gave the land measuring seven acres as a gift to the Jamaican government. Several government members argued that the land should be converted into a business district, while others felt a multifunctional entertainment complex should be built on the site. The large financial input needed for either venture, was not forthcoming. In 2002 Cabinet granted approval for the transfer of Thielen to the National Housing Trust on the condition that a park was built and maintained at that location. The land was transferred for one Jamaican dollar. The park is well known for the 11 feet, approximately 3 meters, high bronze sculpture done by Jamaican artist Laura Facey, situated at the park's main entrance. This prominent sculpture comprises two naked black male and female statues gazing to the skies symbolic of their triumphant rise from the horrors of slavery. The statue was unveiled in July 2003, in time for the park's first anniversary which caused an outcry from the Jamaican populace who believed that the blatant nudity and generous bodily proportions of the figures were very inappropriate to depict the freedom of black people. The Royal Botanical Gardens at Hope, popularly called Hope Gardens serves as a national attraction. The Hope Gardens is a part of the of land making it the largest botanical garden in the English-speaking Caribbean. The land situated by the foothills of the Blue Mountains was originally owned by Major Richard Hope from whom it got its name. 200 acres of this land was obtained by the government of Jamaica in 1880 and was originally established as a plant introduction and crop testing facility for plants such as pineapple, cocoa, coffee and tobacco. The formal botanical gardens were laid out on approximate lie of this land with the assistance of personnel from the Kew Gardens in England. 
important. In the 1950s, the Queen, after visiting the island and being pleased with the state of the gardens, gave permission for it to be called the Royal Botanical Gardens, Hope. The gardens have many exotic species along with some endemic trees of Jamaica. Over the years, the ravages of hurricanes and other disasters have resulted in the loss of a significant number of species. However, there are still some prominent trees and popular sites to be viewed in the gardens. At Hope Gardens, visitors can view a number of other features, including the Coconut Museum, the Sunken Gardens, the Orchid House, the Lily Pond, the Maze, and Palm Avenue. The Hope Gardens has an adjoining zoo referred to as Hope Gardens Zoo. The gardens and zoo are currently undergoing redevelopment to improve the physical landscape and the animal inventory as a part of Bring Back the Hope campaign. The St. William Grant Park Parade, in the heart of downtown Kingston is the starting point for three of Jamaica's 4A roads, namely the A1, Kingston to Lucy, the A3, Kingston to St. Anne's Bay, and the A4, Kingston to Anato Bay, while the city itself is provided with a dense network of trunk, main, secondary and minor roads. It also consists of the Highway 2000, Jamaica which runs through Portmore, Ocho Rios, and Mandeville. A new section of Highway 2000, Jamaica, called T3 was recently opened to the public. It has greatly reduced the travel time between Kingston and Montego Bay from four hours to a mere two and a half hours. Kingston is served well by a modern bus system, many buses and taxis, which operate throughout the city with major hubs at Parade, Crossroads, Halfway Tree and elsewhere. Private car ownership levels are high, and like many major urban conurbations Kingston suffers from frequent traffic jams and pollution. In June 1898, the existing mule car service was phased out in a transition to electric trams, initially operated by the West India Electric Company and latter be the Jamaica Public Service Company, was undertaken. This transition to the electric tram was completed on March 31, 1899. This service continued to operate, but the inflexibility of a tram service could not keep pace with a growing city, and the tram service ceased to operate on 7 August 1948. Between 1948 and 1953 a motor bus service was operated by a company called Jamaica Utilities. The government revoked its franchise in 1953. From 1953 to 1983 the Jamaica Omnibus Service operated a service, which at its peak consisted of over 600 buses and served an area spanning Spanish Town, Border, Mount James, Bull Bay, and Port Royal. It was wound up by the government in 1983 after being nationalized in 1974. Kingston is served well by a modern bus system, the Jamaica Urban Transit Company, JUTC, many buses, and taxis, which operate throughout the city with major hubs at Parade, Crossroads, Halfway Tree and elsewhere. The now disused Kingston Railway Station served the main line with branches from, and the railway station opened in 1845 and closed in October 1992 when all passenger traffic on Jamaica's railways abruptly ceased. Kingston's International Airport is Norman Manley International Airport while Tinson Pan Aerodrome provides domestic services. Historically, the Kingston waterfront was Jamaica's main port with many finger piers at which freighters and passenger liners could dock. More recently, with the containerization of freight, the port has moved to Newport West. Jamaica's police force, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, is based on Old Hope Road near Liguania. Smaller police stations, such as Hunts Bay, Matilda's Corner and Halfway Tree, are dispersed across the corporate area. The Supreme Court of Jamaica is also located in Kingston. Other courts, such as the Halfway Tree Resident Magistrates Court, Gun Court, Traffic Court, and Family Court, make Kingston their home. The Jamaica Defense Force, JDF, has its headquarters at Up Park Camp near New Kingston and Crossroads. The JDF also operates a major naval base at Port Royal. Fire response in Kingston is provided by the Jamaica Fire Brigade, the National Fire Service. The service operates from fire stations spread throughout the corporate area. Currently fire stations are located at The Gleaner Company, the Jamaica Observer and the Sunday Herald. Three of Jamaica's large newspaper companies make their home in Kingston. Several television and radio stations, including Television Jamaica, TVJ, CBM TV, RJR 94 FM, TBC Radio 88.5 FM, Hits 92 FM, Fame 95 FM, Love TV, Zip 103, Cool 97 FM, and Love FM, are all based in Kingston. The capital is home to four association football teams who play in the Jamaican Premier League. 
The teams are Arnett Gardens, Boys Town, Harborview, Maverly Hewenden, Waterhouse FC. Fixed voice and broadband services in Kingston are provided by either Flow and Digicel, via their new Digicel Play service which currently exclusive to the Kingston metropolitan area. Flow uses a hybrid fiber and coaxial network to provide IPTV, VoIP and POTS and broadband capable of speeds up to 100 megabits per second. Flow also uses a copper network to provide POTS and ATSL capable of speeds up to 12 megabits per second. Digicel uses a pond fiber optic network, providing IPTV, VoIP and broadband speeds of up to 200 megabits per second. Digicel's fiber optic network boasts capacity of up to 10 gigabits per second. Mobile voice and broadband services in Kingston are dominated by incumbents, Flow and Digicel. Both carriers provide GSM, Edge, HSPA, HSPA Plus and LTE connectivity in and around the city. Currently, Flow offers HSPA Plus of up to 21 megabits per second on 850 MHz and 1900 MHz. Flow also offers DC SPA, commonly known as DC HSPA Plus allowing capable devices speeds of up to 42 megabits per second on contiguous 1,900 megahertz spectrum. Digicel also offers 21 megabits per second HSPA+, plus, however, they also offer DC SPA, commonly known as DC HSPA+, plus, allowing capable devices speeds of up to 42 megabits per second on contiguous 850 megahertz spectrum. Digicel was also first to market with LTE in Jamaica. Their network covers all of Kingston Parish and most of the populous areas in the Kingston metropolitan area, capable of speeds of up to 75 megabits per second on 10 megahertz of band 17 spectrum. Flow also offers LTE in Kingston. Flow's LTE network is accessible on band 4 or AWS spectrum. Due to the network delaying its rollout to acquire more spectrum, its network is theoretically faster than both Digicel and Carousel to the tune of 150 megabits per second, 20 megahertz of bandwidth, with further plans to add low band spectrum, possibly increasing theoretical speeds up to 225 megabits per second. And Kingston is also home to Carizel, Jamaica's newest telecoms operator, which deployed its LTE network first to the Kingston metropolitan area. In addition, both carriers have their Jamaican head offices in the city, with the exception of Digicel which has its company headquarters in Kingston rather than a regional office there as is the case with Flow, which is based in Miami. Postal services in Kingston and throughout the island are provided by the Postal Corporation of Jamaica, the National Post Office of Jamaica. Services include domestic and international mail delivery, post office boxes, registered mail, priority mail, local courier, parcel delivery, express mail service, international courier. Advertising mail and provision of post office boxes. Kingston is divided in several postal zones enumerated as follows. Kingston, as the capital, is the financial, cultural, economic and industrial center of Jamaica. Many financial institutions are based in Kingston, and the city boasts the largest number of hospitals, schools, universities and cultural attractions of any urban area on the island. Notable Kingston landmarks include the University of the West Indies, Jamaica Defense Force Museum, and Bob Marley Museum. Kingston is twinned with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.